All right, it is channel seed plot day. I got six hybrids up on the map. We're just doing it by region. It's a whole, it's not quite a full half mile, but it's not too far from a half mile. And there's uh, a little bit of terrain along the way. This is a new field to us. And uh, so it's, it was sod, lacking some fertility. And overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy in general how the field is doing. And uh, so far this channel, this first hybrid looked like it did pretty good. Um, we'll, we'll analyze the map. We don't just look at the number, you know, we'll analyze the map. Um, we kind of screwed up the yield at the beginning and uh, but it it looks it looks pretty good um, so we'll make another another region and uh, and then we we try it again so I like doing these full length runs um, because the whole length of the field because you go through some slow spots you know you kind of got to draw right through here where we're at and uh, and then you got then obviously the side of the hill coming out and some flatter ground on top and uh, kind of a wet spot down at the other end and so we're looking more at the standability rather than just having a way wagon at the end of the row and saying well that pass did 180 and this pass did 160 maybe the conditions that we're in maybe that 160 would actually be a better hybrid for some other fields because maybe it had a really dark green area uh, on this field that might represent another field you know what I mean um, so you're picking hybrids for specific fields and it allows us to kind of analyze. So long story longer is it's not just yield. We're looking for stand. Everything looks like it's really standing nice. Uh, there's not much stocks laying down in between the rows. There's not any eardrop going on and it's yielding quite well. Um, very impressed. We'll see how this one finalized. Yeah, here's where I screwed up. I forgot that they were all 12 rows, and or that they were six row passes, and so I, I dove in on 12 rows, and I'm like, ah, crap. And so, yeah, that one's coming in. It's 180 and 181. It's cleaning out the combine. 182 and a half on that one. And we'll dump and uh, we'll get the other ones. But this here one is looking real nice. Oh, this one's been hanging in for quite a while in the 190s. It tickled 200 for a half a second there. And uh, that was real good. That was real good. Um, so yeah, this is tall. Big ears. You can see this last pass the yellow in it all the yellow so that one's not doing quite so well um, it's a good stand everything looks really good but you can see the yellows for the length and there's no reason for them but it's just that hybrid you know that's why I like to study the map and not just the number This is just an absolutely pretty field. Yeah, 100 acre, 
100 acre field in one shot. Ain't too many of them around here. Not too many of them around here. I like doing hybrid test plots this way too because it's very real world. You're out in the middle of the field and uh, here's another strong one, 202, 203. This one's doing fantastic. Scrum dishliocious. Um, let everything clean out. And uh, the other reason I like it is uh, we get to um, keep moving. You know, on ones that we need to weigh, the weigh wagon, well the weigh wagon's at each end. And yeah, that one ended up 189. That's, that's pretty good, darn good. Um, and so the other ones that you have the weigh wagon, you just meet the, have the grain cart meet you at each end, dump in them and, and go. So let's dump this and get into regular combining. All right guys, I'd like to thank Channel Seeds for the seed and Bussy's Ag Service and Custom Spray for the, for the seed as well and the, the recommended seeds they brought up. That worked out really well. I was pretty impressed, you know. Um, yeah, there were five out of the six of them seeds I would have zero issue planting in a field next year for myself. I, I, they turned out well. That was kind of fun. Uh, I enjoy that kind of, I enjoy test plots like that. I don't know why. Um, it's kind of fun for me. But yeah, on the field here, we got uh, <clears throat> Dad got rolling, and uh, we got we got almost 40 acres out, and uh, so I'm gonna empty the cart. He went home for lunch while I got caught up on wagons and cart, and uh, been making phone calls and emails while I unload the wagon or load the wagon, and. Um, and so I'm going to get this unloaded and he's going to head back out here and and uh, start over again and we'll go from there. And so we're moving along pretty good. I'm, it's a great day. This is the first day, <clears throat> this is the first day this fall that we've actually just got to combine and get something done. And so let's, <clears throat> let's hop in the mighty 8450 and, and get them wagons loaded and get back on the road. That's very pretty. To me, that's very pretty between the rows when you see that barley grass coming up. Oh, we'll rebuild this field. I'm thinking a bunch of fly ash and turkey litter to pour on this field this fall, or this winter, and uh, really get this soil turning around and put corn on it again, no-till corn again next year. <sighs> we got some ugly spots in the field coming up. You can see all the red around here. That's around that spot there. So if we can get all the, like out here, we don't care about improving out here. Out here it's really good. All this red in there, we got to improve them spots to get the field averages up. That's what's painful. You know, I could live with 140 bushel corn if it was 140 across the field. But when you get 100 in it, 70, 180 out in the middle, and it's 
a bunch of 80 bushel areas that drag it way down. Whatever's happening <laughs> down here, who knows? A little knob, a little sand a knob. Oh, we were extremely dry. We'll clean this little corner up and head back up. With the truck tires on there, you can see how much taller they are than the tires that were on there. And you lose just that little bit of visibility. up quick. Start shutting the gate. Start shutting the gate. Let her just trickle out that last little top off the wagon. Gate is shut, let the auger clean out. Oh yeah, that's a nice load. Usually get 43, 42 to 44,000, so hunt around 43,000 on the corn, and then the wagons are 70, uh, 7,700 between the two wagons. And so uh, we'll run this. Run this around and when dad gets out here he can get combinining. <laughs> 